And that's how we started. And it started with run, one radio station, and then it was five, then it was 10, then it was video content, then it, um, the laws were different then, so we could um, literally go out and buy CDs mm -hmm. and host them and just let people listen to whatever music. And we went from, you know, 10 users a day to 100 to 1,000 to hundreds of thousands to a million over those next four years. How did you find the users? Is it word of mouth? Word of mouth. Just yeah. word of mouth. Didn't spend a penny on advertising. So the thing you were focusing on is getting the radio stations and all Well, that. radio and TV, anything, any content at all. Did you pick up the phone? What'd you do? How'd you? How'd you I would, I, I, wherever what? I could, like everything that was public domain, I'd go out and buy a video or a cassette, whatever it was, you know. Um, and this was before the the DMs, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act of 90, whenever it kicked in. So literally anything that was audio, <laughs> we would put nice. online so people could listen to it. Yeah. And if you think about somebody at work, they didn't have a radio most likely. And if you did, you couldn't get reception. Definitely didn't have a TV, but you had a PC and you had bandwidth available to you. And the companies weren't up on firewalls or anything at that point in time. So our in-office listening you know, during the day what just exploded mm -hmm. because whoever's sitting next to you, what are you listening to, right? And that was the start of it. And then, you know, in early 98, um, we started adding video and just other things. And we had ended up with thousands of servers. You know, there was no cloud back then um, and just pulling together all those pieces to make it work. But where we really made our money was by taking that network that we had built and then going to corporations and saying, look, you know, in 19, it's 1996, 97, 98. And to communicate with your worldwide employees, what they would do is they would go to an auditorium that had a satellite uplink. And then they would have people go to like theaters or ballrooms um, and hotels that had satellite downlinks. And then would broadcast, you know, the product introductions, whatever. And so we said to them, look, you're paying millions of dollars to reach all your employees when you can do it. Um, pay us a half a million dollars and we'll do it just on their PCs at work. So we did, you know, when Intel announced the P90 PC, we, you know, charged them $2 million or whatever to do that. When Motorola announced a new phone or a new product, we would charge them. And so we used the consumer side to do a proof of concept for the network. Um, and then we would take that knowledge and go to corporations. And that's how we made our revenue.